Hello students, welcome to the second part of nitrogen fixing organisms. So in the last class we have seen about symbiotic, non-symbiotic and lightning process and how this is related to nitrogen fixation and converting the atmospheric nitrogen which is a free form of nitrogen converted to the form of available form and getting to the plant. Okay, so in this you have seen the symbiotic association is maintained by rhizobium, frankia and azospirillum. These three bacterium and how this is forming? It is leaving inside the root nodule of the leguminous plant and fixing the nitrogen and available to the plant. Instead, uh, the plant is giving return the form of food and supplying to the rhizobium or these two bacteria. Okay, so today I will demonstrate you or I will show you what are the plants containing this type of leguminous plants with the root nodule and how is this bacterium leaves inside and what is the shape of this root nodule and what kind of plants you can see this root nodule. We will just uh, try to cut it and see what is present inside. Okay. Let us enter to the experiment. Okay. So you can watch the experiment now. I got a plant with root nodule. So many days I was trying to get a plant with a root nodule because all the plants will not have this root nodule only the gram, the peas and some flowering plants you can see a special type of structure present with the root. Hope uh, the video is clear. Can you see what kind of plant is this? I don't know. But there is a type of small flower is seen here might be because of that reason apart from the peas or green, green gram or other type of uh, plants which we are expecting root nodule formation this plant also is forming the symbiotic association with rhizobium or frankia or azospirillum okay so uh, let us see the type of root nodule uh, uh, can you see the root nodule here this is the root right so the here with the root along with the root you can see a structure can you see the structure some bulging or some swollen kind of uh, structure is seen here so here it is a very big one you can see here and here and all it's very small but when I noticed here, here it is very big structure. Can you see very big structure? This is a very big root nodule but the remaining parts and all you have very small small root nodule. I don't know whether it will grow into this size after once I'm keeping for many days. I don't know that one. Here I found only one root root nodule is very big. The remaining are very small. Okay. So, shall we cut this and try what is present here? There are three kinds of bacteria might be present here. Any one is present in this case of plant. That is a rhizobium or frankia or azospirillum. So once you are making a cut in the root and observing its structure with the help of microscope, you will be able to identify the type of uh, symbiotic association forming bacterium, whether it is rhizobium or frankia or azospirillum. So that we cannot predict it now without identifying the structure. If it is a rhizobium bacterium, the structure will be rod shape like almost like some oval shape so here i'm going to try by making a cut okay so first i will take the big root nodule i'm making a cut so i made the cut to get this big root nodule the remaining are just growing structures so i cannot make a cut very easily so let it be here 
I will try to replant it to see whether other parts of this root nodule is still going to grow and getting the bigger size. Okay. So for this you just see I'm going to make a cut. Longitudinal cut. Okay. See here. The structure is almost like a Something is present here, but we can't see the organism with your naked eye. We have to get the help of microscope and stain to see the structures. Okay, so I showed you what is, uh, how it is uh, present here. It's almost like some uh, filled part. Almost uh, it's looking like a small potato, but actually this is the root nodule. And inside which this bacterium present, okay. So, like, hope uh, the structure is clear for you how it is. Okay. So, once it forms, it will be forming a shape like this. Almost like this. So, some oval shape that is called rod shape. With this only we can see very small, small root nodules. So, it's very interesting, right. I'm excited to see the inside part. First time I'm doing this. Hope uh, you liked this video. We'll uh, try to grow this few more days and we'll watch whether the size of this root nodule is getting increasing. Okay, we'll see with another video. Hope you have enjoyed. Bye.